Let's have a look at what is happening around India in brief. With the second part of the budget session in Parliament starting today, all eyes are on Finance Minister Arun Jaitley, who may just announce a hike in allowances for central government employees. The Committee on Allowances has already submitted its report to the Finance Ministry in which it has reviewed the recommendations of the 7th Pay Commission on Allowances. Former Gujarat Chief Minister Keshubhai Patel was reappointed as Chairman of the Somnath Temple Trust for a year. The decision was taken in a meeting held in the presence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi at Somnath Temple Office in Gujarat's Gir Somnath District. Deputy Chief Minister and Finance Minister Manish Sisodia presented Delhi Budget for 2017-18, which does not impose any new tax while focusing on education, health and transport sectors. The budget has allotted Rs 7,571 crores to MCDs, which is 14.9% more than the last year. The Rs 48,000 crore budget also announces several measures for social welfare of the underprivileged and senior citizens. A man died after falling on the Delhi Metro Railway track as the train approached. The incident at Janakpuri West Station in Delhi disrupted services for some time on the Blue Line that connects Dwarka to Vaishali and Noida in neighbouring Uttar Pradesh. Two Pakistani boys who were arrested last year as suspected guides of the terrorist who attacked an army camp in Uri were released by the NIA. The NIA filed a closure report in the case stating that the two, Faisal Hussain Awan and Hassan Khurshid, were not involved in any terror activity. The High Court has ordered removal of Integral University Vice-Chancellor S.W. Akhtar after holding his appointment and extension on the post against the rules and regulations of the university. A bench of Justice S.N. Shukla and Justice S.K. Singh first passed the order on a petition moved by Junaid Ahmed. The petitioner had stated that Akhtar's extension as VC was against the rules let down in the Integral University Act.